Moving on to a bit of art, and if you've ever been fascinated by art and art collecting, but not sure where to start, don't worry, we're sorting you out this morning. Now, Cholo gives us a bit of a crash course on all things art collecting so that you too can admire the finer things in life. Strauss & Co. is an auction house selling works worth millions by famed South Africans like William Kentridge, but also supporting new artists to sell more affordably and enter the market. For me, one thing that can really transform any space and give it a bit of character has to be a good painting. But buying art has always come across as something that can be very tricky and intimidating. But that's why I'm here today to learn more about the art of art collecting. Alistair, so art buying and collecting is seen or usually perceived to be something that's very exclusive and niche. Is this true? No, not at all. Uh, it's certainly the kind of myth that we are always trying to bust. Um, buying artwork should never be intimidating. Uh, certainly buying artworks at an auction house like Strauss & Company is not intimidating in the least. Um, but yes, you are right. I think a lot of people perceive it uh, to be rather exclusive, but it, it's certainly not. You know, we sell a range of artworks starting from a thousand rand up to 20 million rand. And what exactly does Strauss & Co do? Well, ultimately, we, we're an auction house. We're a sales platform to, to buy and sell artworks and, and decorative art. I'm selling artworks in, in a live uh, auction format as well as an online auction format. We sell artworks uh, to people around the country and, of course, around the world. Dr. can you tell me what inspired you to create the work that you do? I draw my inspiration from my daily living, my travels in the street. Some of the work, what I did was made of objects that I find in the streets, which I use at, uh, as models and draw from them. How would you describe the nature or the climate of our art industry in South Africa at the moment? It has immensely developed. And uh, also the fact that uh, places like, you know, auctions and galleries have sought to to work and engage the wider part of the public, whereas uh, before it used to be, you know, exclusivist in the sense that, uh, you know, from the division of, of races in South Africa, some were, you know, had the privilege of going to the galleries. There's never been galleries in the township and all that, but sluice gates have opened and we're learning about, you know, some of the works that we thought we'd never see. While there's always a reserve price below which a piece won't sell, at auction the personal appeal of an artwork can see it fetch a fantastic price. Good news for artists like Clive van der Berg. Clive, talk to me about your journey and what inspired you to become a fine artist or want to become a fine artist, would you say? I think it was, in my case, it was a matter of me not really being able to do anything else very adequately. I love being an artist. It's the only thing I ever wanted to be all my life. It's a thing I could do well. It was the way I understood the world, and it was a way I could give back to the world. As an artist, how does it feel like to have your work on public display? I think when artists uh, have, have their work on public display, there's always a kind of element of exposure about it. There's always a kind of moment of nervousness about, about, about that. You know, how is it going to be received? Are people just going to walk by it? And that's, that, that, that's very easy, but it's also an exciting moment. For people attending an auction for the first time, what tips do you have for them? Well, I, I suppose not to feel intimidated. Uh, of course, to do your homework, come and look at the items you're interested in. Uh, you know, when you feel that you are confident that, you, uh, that you're going to potentially bid on a particular work, I suppose in your own mind, maybe think of some of your top limits. Um, you know, as not, not to be intimidated or necessarily get emotional, uh, but of course also to enjoy it. It's wonderfully exhilarating to, uh, to buy works at auction. If, like me, you thought buying art was far out of your reach, I certainly hope that perception has changed. Just like buying property, buying art is an investment. And judging by all these pieces around me, a very visually appealing one at that.